Hello and welcome. In this episode, we're going to travel to the capital of South Korea, Seoul, and we're going to visit the Kyungbuk Palace, an impressive palace in the center of Seoul. Then we're going to go to Daemyeong Resort, a beautiful resort right on the ocean. And then we're going to travel to the Jinhae Cherry Blossom Festival, one of the major festivals in Korea. Let's enjoy this travel in Korea. So our first stop was in Seoul at the Kyungbuk Palace. Very impressive structure. It's where the king of Korea lived for many, many years. So these pictures just give an idea of the size of it. So some of the outside shots. And then this is a picture of one of the main gates. Very impressive uh, roofed structure. This is also where the changing of the guard happens. That was very, very impressive. So we had a great time there. So this next shot is just shows some of the beautiful roofs looking out onto the mountains. These are some of the pagodas that you can see from this area. And so some of them have three tiers, some of them have five or six tiers. They're quite impressive. And finally, we have, this is the entrance to the palace. Kind of an idea of the mix of the modern and the ancient together. You can even see a 7-Eleven from America right at the entrance. So these next group of pictures comes from Daemyeong Resort. So it's just this beautiful resort right on the ocean. Korea has so much coastline. There's a lot of these types of resorts. And so it's a very modern resort, but right in the back of it, you have this little tiny beach area. And I just love this view of the ocean and the mountains in the background. Just a beautiful area. And then this next picture shows the layering, which I thought was just fascinating. Uh, the layers of the rocks. And then we have this picture of the layering looking back towards that uh, other mountain in the background with the ocean. And then looking back towards the resort itself, you see this beautiful resort overlooking the ocean. So now we get to the pure ocean views. So here's just a couple of shots of the beach and the ocean. Very tranquil place. Then we have a, just a couple of quick biking shots. I do a lot of biking. So I think this is from Naju again. So this is just a couple of quick shots about biking in Naju. And one of the pictures here, it shows how they get water. I find it fascinating that they share the dipper. So people load up on the dipper and everybody drinks out of the same dipper. Very common in Korean culture to share this way. So just a place to get water. And finally, just a few pictures of the Jinhae Cherry Blossom Festival. So the Jinhae Cherry Blossom Festival is also known as Jinhae Gun Hong Jae Festival. And it's Korea's biggest spring festival. And it draws like 2 million visitors every year. It happens in April and usually lasts for about 14 days. So the cherry blossom is called the butkot in Korean. And it's a common word around this time of year. This first picture actually was the president of Korea. And he's holding his uh, arms over his head. Uh, it, it means love, okay? It means I love you. So I thought this was a very fitting picture. So all the people in the military, very happy to see their president. And he's saying, I love you to Korea. Very nice picture. And then this next picture just shows the cherry blossoms in full bloom right in front of a nice house. And this is next to kind of a small river that was there. These next couple of pictures, this was called a turtle ship. So it says about the turtle ship, the turtle ship was part of the Korean Navy and they were made in 1591. And again, by the Admiral Yi Sun Shin. 
He was the commander of four fleets in the Korean South Sea. Mm -hmm.